everyone and welcome back to the Heavenly Homestead. My name is Letty and today I wanted to do a little catch up and I've been a little MIA and that's been for working reasons. I've been a lot busier lately and there's tons of things that are happening so I thought I'd share them with you. You know what's not happening? Um, Clara getting in heat um, apparently she is not ready to be a mother she wants to go with boys but she is not in heat hi Clara hi Yuki gosh all the usual suspects what are you doing so needy hi hi big fat belly you have a belly full of hay. What do you think about the rain coming, huh? Do you love it? Look at me, young lady. Look at me. Oh, you're so pretty. So let's talk about little man Toad. He, uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to keep him because he is just not doing great. I believe that what happened to him is that he had at some point coccidiosis and even though I sent two fecals in at the time that I sent them he didn't have it so we assume it was just the new greens that were growing and it was just giving him an upset stomach but then I <laughs> the dogs are really getting on my nerves today but then um, I started to notice that after the last episode of diarrhea that he had, he was just not growing. Uh, and after doing my research and talking to my vet, what probably likely happened is that he had coccidiosis, which kind of messes with their ability to absorb nutrients. So they can eat as much as other goats and not absorb what they need to be healthy which would explain why he always had a heavier worm load and it would explain his anemia and his copper deficiency and all the little things that in the end they add up and that's why he was struggling so because of that um, I decided to keep him and treat him at home with an anemia protocol which includes red cell includes apple cider vinegar and um, vitamin b that's just a few of the things that i am doing for him and he is showing more and more improvement now look at my little guy he's starting to grow some super shiny and healthy hair not you clara you always making my lens foggy. Um, I don't know if you can see it there, but he's starting to grow some really shiny hair on his spine and he's changing the hair on the side. So I've been doing a lot of brushing. He is still battling um, anemia. He is doing a lot better because he's chewing the cud, living his best life. He is still underweight, but he is gaining weight every day and um, he's doing better, but he still needs to shed all that hair from when he was struggling with his anemia and when he was struggling with his copper deficiency. On another topic, I've been trying to catch the twins in heat to put them with their new boyfriend which is Dom. I have no idea when these girls are going into heat and I am just so curious to see if I am missing it because they're being quiet which I don't think so because they're not the quietest goats ever. They're very like attention seekers they were born in our farm and they are I mean they've been spoiled since they were born they're over a year old now and they they know they know so I would think that they'd be loud and not understanding what is happening to them but really I cannot tell you if they've ever been in heat because I just can't see it they're not loud and so what I'm do this is what I'm doing every single day to make sure that they're not in heat or 
at least hoping that I will see any kind of changes. I think the one that is giving me heat vibes is Briere over there. Briere is that one over there. This is Gaia. Um, and as you can see, she is kind of crying for no reason. She's chewing the cud. She just ate. She's living her best life. But um, I'm assuming that's what it is. So what I've been doing is just checking, checking booties. Let me see your booty, young lady. And <laughs> they are kind of weirded out by it because they're like, listen, there's nothing there for you to look at. There's nothing there to look at, right? But I'm constantly checking their booties to see if there is... See, she is kind of being loud, but I don't see anything which is not the number one indicator. But since I am not able to hear them or to, you know, I don't see any flagging. I don't see any other signs that would point that they're in heat. So... That's been kind of annoying because I really wanted to breed them in the month of September. Now we're still in September, so hopefully, I mean, they'll go into heat maybe over the weekend. Protect and serve. Look. See, I think, I think Rhea is in heat. Look at her. Is she? I don't see any discharge. But she's being weird, like with all the does, like, you know, she's kind of smelling them from the side. It's possible that Briere is, is about to go into heat. It's possible. So now, recently I got the opportunity to barter, which is something that it's awesome. Um, somebody locally needed something and I needed hay and we kind of agreed to do a little exchange and because of that, uh, it really uh, helped both of us get whatever we needed out of each other and for us it was hay so I'm going to show you we've been building this little hay extension area from the goat's house so we can store it there now sadly the weather has been bad I've covered them with tarp but I'm sure there's going to be a few of those bells that I'm going to have to use as mulch because tarps are not the most amazing thing in the world when there's a lot of water and there's been a lot of water in the last three days. It's just in the morning, but it's ridiculous. And I'm telling you because I'm collecting water. So that's that's how much and th that's how I know how much water we've been getting. You can getting. come here, little man. Come here. Okay. So that's where the goat house would end. Now they think this is an awesome thing for them here in the back that they're just gonna say that they're pooping here. There's a lot of happenings uh, and I wish this would be an extension where they could be outside because that would be amazing. Oh, I, I slipped. But that would be amazing, so I wouldn't have to clean their house so often during the winter because even though we don't get really, really cold, you know, maybe some uh, weird temperatures like we had last winter. I'm right here! I'm right here! I'm right here! Come here! Oh no, my man, I am right here. Oh, you can't even... <laughs> Look at him. That's what, a 12 inch board? <laughs> you can't even... I can't with you. He's so full of hay. Um, the other day I was brushing on the other boys because they were gonna pick them up and you know, the baby goats hate the brushing. <laughs> <laughs> because I do it with a comb, like a fine comb, so I can get all the hay and, you know, dust and everything. So they look shiny and pretty. Right now, I couldn't give them a bath because they were banded and it was about to fall. I didn't want any water to touch that area. So 
I was brushing them. And how are you, little man? You're so, so smart, little man. Oh, I love my baby. I love my baby. Oh, you're pooping. That's cute. So, anyways, wanna, once I'm done brushing the boys that we're gonna go, he came up to me and he stood by me like, oh, can I please get brushed? And I'm like, you know that nobody likes it, right? It's the funniest thing that he wants to be like every other boy in the farm. If I do anything to any of the other boys, he wants it to be done to him. Um, unless it's a shot. He knows that he doesn't like shots because he's been getting vitamin B shots and dewormed. Um, but the brushing, it's almost a daily thing now because he's losing all that bad hair that he grew when he had that um, copper deficiency uh, about a month ago. So I am trying to help him <laughs> by brush him and it, the dead hair, it's coming in that, uh, in the comb. Don't be jealous, you're such a good mama. But he's not nursing anymore, he's four months, he's not nursing, look at that one. He's obsessed all day with his mother. She's being patient, but not as patient as you would expect. Oh, my man. You just want me to pay attention to you. You want me to massage your room, man? Okay. I can do it. I'll help you. Oh, there you go. Um, when he was at his worst, uh, at his worst, I used to come every so many hours and massage his room, man. And then he would start chewing the cut immediately. <laughs> You're a sweet little guy. I love you so much. So coming back to this, which I'm like squirrel when my goats are around. Um, this is what we built. We found this that is thin, but it's good for the roof. For twenty dollars, it's either four by eight. Um, Otherwise, the materials are really expensive. We got all those. We kind of recycle all of those, um, including all that wood. But we did buy these sheets, the roofing, and they work amazing for the goat house. And we wanted to look like a seamless transition from the goat house to here. So it just works out. It looks really good I think especially from the outside right in here it doesn't really matter this is gonna be a wall and we're gonna have a hopefully a sliding door over there and this is gonna be the room that we have for hey hi little man oh my gosh yes I want to be with you for the rest of my life I take it back you're not going anywhere. You're my little man. Okay? I hope I don't get any more little man in the future. Because I can't be keeping boys just because they're cute and sweet. <laughs> Look at that one. He's like, Mom, feed me. So for right now, um, I have to clean this, get rid of the poop, put some pallets, and then we are going to close it off in a way that we still get some kind of air so it, it doesn't get damp this is the pacific nor northwest and it does get moldy pretty easily uh, so that's something we're gonna do it is as wide as their house as the goat house and again it's just kind of an extension this is one of our trees <laughs> that was um put before we moved and we're using them as posts that is this too another one of this myrtle trees my husband trying to fill everything this is going to be the other post we have one over there oh my gosh you guys are nosy but this is going to be another post that we're going to put in the corner here 
for the milk room. It's gonna happen. It's finally gonna happen. I am so very excited. So the goat house is gonna end up looking ginormous. Because as you can see, this past weekend we said goodbye to Ash and his buddy, which was Geralt. Both of the silver boys found a home locally and they went to live there as pets. They have another goat that recently lost his partner, his um, buddy friend, and so they needed to as soon as possible. And I thought that it was so thoughtful of this person to think about in two of them, because it would have been really hard for a little boy to get, you know, to be friends with somebody that, you know, an older goat. So I think it's gonna work out perfectly because now the boys have each other, but they also have this new friend. They have an acre where they can run and do all the things. And I'm just super excited that they're local. So, you know, we can always keep in touch. Their new owner said that they, she will send pictures of them. And of course, that's something that I would love to see them grow up. So right now we have Annie's little boy and we have Mush, which is the last of Mocha's boys that I was offering since Toad is my little buddy that is gonna stay. I think in the end it's gonna work out really, really well because I don't have a very mellow goat that could be a companion. Now I have Duke and Duke is Rocky's brother and Duke you know, was initially the companion for Rocky. Then Taz was born, we kept him, now we have Dom, like there's too many boys, okay? I know that. But because of that, he's really not needed, but he's very attached to Rocky and Rocky to him, so I really, I, I don't see any way of um, getting rid of Duke at all. And I love the guy, even though he is the weirdest, the weirdest goat you'll ever meet. Anyways, so uh, back to Toad, I was thinking that maybe it would be a great idea to keep him too, despite the fact that I want to do everything with him and I want him healthy and I love him to death because he's a great companion. He is like a great buddy. He would never bully anybody. He would never be mean to anybody. And I think we're there, you know, if there's a situation where I need to separate the little kids or anything that it will require a buddy situation, he's the perfect buddy. He's looking at me right now. He's just the cutest little thing. Look at him. You talking about me? Yes, sir. Talking about you. You keep chewing the cud and living your best life, okay? It's so cute. So I think in the end it's gonna work out. Uh, if I ever got to find somebody that would need a therapy goat, like somebody that struggle with depression or that struggle with PTSD or some kind of um need for somebody to have a buddy I would definitely share him with somebody like that because I think that the amount of love sweetness kindness and calmness that this little boy has is unexplainable and I think it would help somebody with either depression anxiety PTSD you name it I think Every time I'm stressed or something, I just take him with me. I pet him for a little bit and I'm like, life is okay. It's not that, that bad, 